Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am in Sun and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing the Supergirl episode. It's the Found Pet from Break and Season 3, Episode 10 called Legion of Superheroes. So we start off with Supergirl is talking to Brainiac 5 and basically he tells her that uh, she's in a coma and then she starts to remember what happened to her and the fight that she got into with Rain and all that type of stuff. And then the team, which is the Legion, and um, the uh, discuss plans and Rain. And then uh, Rain ha basically, it's almost like a split personality thing. Because first uh, she's like, Mom, and she's fine, and she's great. Then next second, she's uh, Rain, and she's going ham on people. <laughs> and um, so she goes back to her, her desert base and talks to her mom. Then Rain is doing justice her way, and that's basically um, taking people out of vans that are stealing stuff, and then literally drops them off at Catco, where James and um, covers Pokara, and that's when she busts in, and then she, uh, she demands to have a camera on her, and she announces stuff on the internet about how she's going to run stuff, or the media. And then we have uh, Monel can't get involved and slash they're on a mission from the future and that's why they can't get involved otherwise they'll jeopardize the future. And then um, then he says, um, but he does say uh, that Carl will live and that Rain will move on and leave eventually. And that's all they get. And then they um, say in the 2450, it's actually a crap show. Where it's like a third level extin extinction rate or something like that, basically, of like a bunch of the population got wiped out, but the humans came back and fought off whatever it was because they don't know yet. So they lost a bunch of information about this time. So that's why they don't know exactly what's going to happen, but they just know the highlights of what's happening or, or what's going to happen. Then Alice goes talk to that crazy inmate that. Basically got hit with the um, way they may have know everything about Krypton and Rao stuff. So basically she goes to talk to him and it goes nowhere. And then we cut to where Gina, uh, <laughs> Lena and James talk. I don't know where Gina came from, but anyway. And it's some awkwardness and then he covers for Carr saying that she has the flu. And uh, so then he calls... Uh, when and tells them about that, and then we cut to bring in five and car talk again. And car can't open the door. And basically, they say that her brain is fine, her body is fine, so she should be able to wake up, but she's not waking up, and we don't know why yet. And so she's stuck in her subconscious, and they explain, um, and then Monel and his wife explain why they can't fight. And basically what happens it was is that um, they, in the future, they go to this planet and it's basically um, some, I think they're called the Bladers. And they go to this planet and they wipe out planets and stuff. But they found a way to get uh, to do that. But they didn't want it to leak. So what they did was they encoded the information in their DNA so that they were to die or that type of stuff would happen they wouldn't know how to do anything. So that's why they can't fight. And then when talk, then we jump to where Wynn talks to John about what he needs to do. So uh, John disguises himself as Kara and then Lena and Kara talk about James and it's awkward as <laughs> uh, it's super freaking awkward. And then we cut to a robbery is happening, but it's not really robberies. The uh, trying to lure in rain, which works. And uh, then it's Dia versus rain, and they actually did a little bit of damage to her, so that was at least good. But um, this still didn't work right, and um, rain basically broke some bones on Alex. And then rain escapes, and they have rain at five on car talk some more. And she thinks it's her subconscious trying to tell her something and um, wants her to uh, see something in the, or to find something and then she'll be allowed to leave. That's how she thinks. 
And then uh, she found a picture of her and a cat. And then we cut to where the Legion goes to the prison. Because that's where um, Rain is heading to next. And so that's happening. Like, just pandemonium everywhere in the prison, by the way. And I mean everywhere. And then um, Rain tells to the guy, to the inmate that got hit with the beam. So you know everything about Ralph from a few episodes ago. And then we cut to where the Legion play Like a Prayer from Bon Jovi. And <laughs> basically it's pretty... Uh, then they're fighting with their ship and all that type of stuff, which was actually pretty cool. I love the shape of the ship. I thought it was really cool and how everything works in there. And then uh, bringing a fat top to Kara. Then uh, Legion decides to step in and help out regardless. So they're helping out and... Um, there's them versus Rain, and then Kara um, wakes up, and basically her subconscious told her and on how she woke up is just to be Kara and just be not Supergirl but Kara Danvers and just be herself. So um, then she puts on her glasses, and then she sees the key, and she turns the key, and unlocks the door, and she's back into the real world, and then she immediately goes to help. Um, the um Monel and his wife and then injects rain with kryptonite they literally melted it down and injected it in her so rain escapes and then um lena talks to james and then they kiss the car and alex talk about the awkwardness that happened with john and uh <laughs> lena <laughs> that whole situation and then um then we cut to where Rain is basically on the floor, writhing in pain, but then she gets over it. And uh, is told by her mother that there are others. And the enemy is going to help. And that's the end of the episode. So um, it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen in the next episode. But I really do like this episode. Um, I still like the back and forth that I'm honestly saying, like, we can't do anything. We can't do anything. We can't do anything. He kept on saying it over and over again. I was like, okay, we get it. And, but I feel like if he's just playing it right off the bat and then later changes his mind, but I only mentioned it like twice. And I think that would have been better still, like three or four times. That that was unnecessary to me. But other than that, I feel like um, it was a really good episode. I'll give this an A episode. I thought it was really good. It could have been a little bit better without the whole back and forth and everything. So anyway, I really enjoyed it. And I mean, I'm very interested to see where Lena and James go, how that relationship takes off or does it fizzle. I don't know. So we'll have to see what happens with that. And I feel like Carr could be crushing on bringing up five a little bit. That's how I feel. So anyway, that's going to do for this episode. So if you like this episode... Please go to like, comment down below what you think, and then subscribe for more stuff because I'll be posting stuff pretty much every day unless something insane happens, which for another video I won't explain some insane mess that's been happening the past week and a half. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video. I want y'all have a super awesome day or night, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.